Now then, guys, how are we doing? How's your weekend going? Sunday, as I record this shave, I'm going to work later. It's going to be a quick one, but I've been looking forward to this one. During the week, I had a mail call. Uh, I was at work, Mr. Postman. You know, it's like, damn. But yesterday morning, I managed to get down the sorting office and I picked up this baby. The Blackland Blackbird. Now, I picked it up on my way to work, so I just had to keep it in the car. I didn't get to use it. So today's the day before I actually go to work. There she is. You get a good look at that. 85 millimeter handle. 303 grade stainless steel. Blackbird, named after the uh, reconnaissance aircraft. And it is a beauty. Just look at the deep, the engineering and there, the quality, the build quality. Blackland, they're, they're producing some amazing razors, they really are. Lovely, nice in the hand, good heft. They say 94 grams. So it's, it's, it's in that uh, perfect, perfect weight range for me, I love it. Nice balance. Okay, the handle isn't that grippy because it's just these elongated slots here, but it rests on the pinky, thumb and forefinger rests just under that collar. Very, very comfortable. It's going nowhere. It's not going to slip. All right, I'll just take it apart for you. Okay, I think I'll put my uh, goggles on here just in case because I've got a blade in here. This is the base plate. Just look at the look at the quality. It's the machine tool finish. I like the machine tool finish. I like to see the tool marks. It makes each razor unique. Got these elongated posts here. And just look at the size of those lava channels. They are huge. Got a, there's a collar on the handle here. And actually fits right inside the base plate. So you may think that, uh, Screw post is quite short, but really the handle goes right into the base plate and is the underneath of the top cap. Those elongated slots there, once again. You can see that, that engineering detail, the tool marks in the light. Loading this with a, a Persona Super Blade made in the USA because that's what Blackland, Blackland, Blackland send out with their razors. And if I don't use them, I'll just sit around and go with nowhere. So, fits together easily. That blade is locked in superbly with these those elongated posts. And what I like is, I don't you can make it out, but there's very little blade show at all from underneath the top cap. That blade's solid. It's going nowhere. There's going to be no blade chatter. And I imagine this is going to be good for shaving against the grain on the moustache. It's got a nice flat top as well, so you can actually uh, stand it upside down. <laughs> uh, overhang. I wouldn't say it's overhang, but just underneath the top cap, I'd say there's about less than half a millimetre of the edge of the blade you could feel, but that's only from the top cap. From the base plate, nothing, nothing there, nothing there to worry about whatsoever. You're not going to cut your stock box. Okay, so that's the razor. I'll just splash some water on. It's all about the razor. It's my first skull, my first impressions, as the title says. Right, that's all for today. I'm going to be using the uh, Iron Swing Soap Company a Barber Shop. I've already lathered it in the bowl. What a scent. Oh, that, that's. I'd give that a six to my nose. A lovely powdery barbershop scent. There's no tallow in here either, so it's suitable for vegetarians. I've had this a while, you can see the cap's going a little rusty. So that's the soap for today, which is, as I say, is lavered up with my Big Jock Synthetic from the Executive Shaving Company. So I say, let's get it on. So uh, I've, whipped, I've whipped this lava up fairly light. Oh, that powdery scent. Yeah, the uh, Blackland 
Blackbird. Purchased from Shaving Time. Oh, it tastes nice, this stuff. And they have a scheme, I think it's a clear pay. I can't remember now, but you can pay for your purchases by instalments. Yeah, well, it's fatal. But uh, they have a very good reward program, very good indeed. And I've got uh, a lot of loyalty points banked up. And I've easily got enough to uh, get a free uh, soap and splash yes, I think. Maybe even more than that. So but it, it is a really good loyalty scheme. And the soap came from there also. <clears throat> oh, can't wait for this, guys. Okay, first use. The Blackland Blackbird. <clears throat> Persona Superblade. Made in the United States, both razor and blade. Now, according to Blackland, oh, that's that's phenomenal. I say there's not a lot of blades showing. We can you can feel it getting under those hairs and taking them away. It's a seven out of ten. According to Blackland. And some people say this is less aggressive than the Blackland Dart, which is 6 out of 10. I'm fortunate enough to have both razors, so I'll be putting that to the test in the near future. If you're thinking about getting Blackland razor and uh, oh, this is definitely less aggressive than the dart. I think you can chuck this around your face. Now on the chin there, I'm really feeling the blade. But as I've said, there's hardly any blade sticking out from under the top cap. So it feels safe. I feel we're using the dart, you have to be a little bit more careful. But I disagree with a lot of people's findings on the dart. A lot of people say it's uh, the dart can turn your face into corned beef, basically, but uh, I don't have that problem. And you've watched me before, I, I do suffer some skin complaints and I have bled a lot in the past due to that. Not to bad shaving techniques or anything. But this feels really nice. Wow. That has virtually cleared my face of stubble. It really has. Oh, what a sense. What a sense. <laughs> Again, I've got so many soaps that uh, you get these great scents and they don't come around in the rotation for quite a while. Very nice. So, how was everybody else? Hope you've had a, a good weekend thus far. Nearly over, I know. No weekend for me, working it. So, uh, on a late shift tonight. But, uh, I had an incident yesterday. 
As those of you who have seen me before they not, will know that at the start of this pandemic I was a, a coach tour driver and uh, oh that feels really nice across the grain. Predominantly my duties involved picking Chinese tourists up at Heathrow Airport and doing an entire lap. It's a little spot. Of the United Kingdom, an island with the same group of passengers. So when the pandemic struck, I was one of the first people to uh, face redundancy and I got it. So since then, just been working on local buses, doing local services, what have you. Not my cup of tea. I don't really have much choice, so uh, tiniest of spots there, not weepers. Yesterday I'm stood in a bus station and this fella comes up, he's obviously been sitting on a bench somewhere drinking high strength cider and he's wearing grey jogging trousers. But he wasn't attacked to a jogging. Anyway, immediately I noticed that around his groin, not that I go look at the men's groins, you understand, but I couldn't help but notice that around the groin area, the grey of the fabric was a lot darker than it should have been. And these dark grey patches stretched all the way down to his ankles. He pissed himself. He's trying to get on the bus, says, uh, whoa, where are you going? Going home, why? Says, well, you've got to find another means of transport, pal, because you're not getting on here like that. Says, there's no law against it. Says, you're covered in piss. He said, it's not my fault. Says, well, whose fault is it? He says, well, I was going to leave myself up against the wall, but before I could uh, undo myself, my bladder burst. Yeah, right, so. He says, so, yeah, I've got to get on this bus. I says, no, 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 you're not getting on the bus. He said, there, there's no law stopping me. I says, well, actually, there is, like, PSV regulations. Ah, oh, and he's coming out the usual, that people come out when they can't get their own way. Well, that's stupid, and all the rest of it. He says, well, it's not stupid. He says, I'm doing a war. He says, well, uh, you sit on that seat. Need a little bit of special attention there. You sit on that seat and you get off and another person sits on that seat and it's a big sit in your piss. And he was just too stupid to understand. He says, well, how am I gonna get home? He lived in another town. He says, well, get a taxi, see you'll find a taxi driver that's willing to say yeah. He probably wouldn't. He says, are you paying for it? He says, well, no, I didn't piss over your pants. <laughs> so he starts ranting and raving and he's, uh, he says, you're all scum in this town. You're all filthy animals. I says, really? I can only see one person in this town covered in piss. <laughs> so I get the inevitable. I've got a towel again. I get the inevitable swear words. You want to see you. I won't spell it out, but four letter word beginning with letter C and ending in T. If you know Morse code, it's da di da di, di di da, da di da. That was what he called me. I said, yeah, but at least I'm not a wet da di da di, di di da, da di da. <laughs> so he went away shouting, ranting, and raving. Bye bye.
Yeah, the pickup. It's doing a fine job. It's sometimes working with the public can be very trying to say the least. Just when you're working with complete dickheads. Now, across against the grain on the cheeks for me is that way. And it's really hooking all theirs. I don't think this persona soup was probably the sharpest of blades, but I shall try it out with a masset next time. I don't think I've had any experience with persona supers, uh, USA made. If you have, if you can pop them in the comments below, please. Whether you find them mild, sharp, whatever, smooth, long lasting. Okay, this is what I'm looking forward to trying against the grain, the grain on the moustache. Not a problem whatsoever. The razor's going right into the nostril. But as I expected, this persona super isn't that sharp a blade. But thanks to the black hunt, uh, Blackbird, it's done an epic job, an awesome job. Probably got as much blade protrusion as the Feather ASD2, to be honest. But obviously due to the blade gaps and the, that, that, the dynamic of the razor, it's tremendously efficient. Just finishing off on the slickness there. As you can see guys, my skin has improved a lot recently. We put on the corner of the mouth. Quite normal for most people. No problems whatsoever. Oh, that is fantastic. That is amazing. What a shave. It's got to go under here. I can't believe I forgot a towel. I'll have to uh, use a sponge. So I'm just going to duck down here, wet the face, quick rub off with a dry sponge. Plenty of slickness left on the face from the uh, Island Swim Barbershop. So, My sponge isn't that dry because I've just had a shower. I'm going to improvise here. You don't see this often on uh, YouTube shaving videos. <laughs> I knew, I knew I was going to forget something today. What was it last time? My brush. Right, Ponche feel. Absolutely tremendous. Fantastic goal. Little rough on the corner of the mouth there. Ever so slightly. But the neck. It's well knocked down. Completely BBS. As you saw, just three regular passes, no pickups. So uh, I'm well impressed with that. I have to say, for now, until I compare it to 
I don't think it's as efficient as the Dart, but shave wise, it's a lot more, it's easier to shave with, you don't have to be as careful. And that is a fantastic result. Perfect. But uh, I think a sharper blade next time will be in order. Because I think that would be a totally different shave of an asset or a feather. But even with that Persona uh, pers pers Super, that's an amazing post shave feel. Amazing. Excellent shave. So I'm glad I've got that. <coughs> <coughs> Pardon me, after shave, I've got the matching splash barbershop. Witch hazel and aloe vera based, alcohol free. So it's pretty much akin to the uh, sterling stuff. And again, smells to me exactly like the soap. I'm actually getting a little bit of a tingle on the top lip from that. A little bit of witch hazel doing its job. Great stuff. So, just a quick recap before I pop off to get my lunch and go to work. Made for today, made up of it, was the Blackland Blackbird. In all its glory. Very nice, very nice razor. Soap for today, which I've put training in the tub. It's a Highland Springs Company barbershop. A lovely barbershop scent. I was whipped up in my Seth Baxter Super Duper Size Lava Bowl from the Executive Shaving Company with the Executive Shaving Company's Big Jock Synthetic. <coughs> ivory handle. I was rounded off with the matching alcohol free aloe witch vera, aloe vera and witch hazel splash. I said it, witch hazel, witch hazel. I don't know, but why do we get so tongue tied on YouTube? It's good to us we're studying talking to ourselves, isn't it? Okay, so uh, if you're riding up near the uh, Blackland Razors, I can honestly say I don't think you'll get a more quality, uh, looks, aesthetics, design and efficiency, I, 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 don't, I think you'll struggle to find many razors that will beat it, but uh, that's my first impressions of the Blackland Blackbird. I've done an earlier video with my first impressions of the Dart, so uh, next is to put them on uh, head to head, not in a competition because the two top end razors uh, you can't fault them. It's just uh, like a, a comparison, as it were. But uh, I know the results are going to be amazing off both razors because I've already done it. Okay, thank you very much for watching, fellas. Hope you found that helpful if you're considering uh, purchasing one of Blackland's razors. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Not much of it left, but I haven't got a weekend at all. I'm working. Oh, poor me. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Thanks for all the recent likes, comments and subscriptions. Much appreciated. Bye bye now.